Number one says there is a circular track of diameter 200 meters. So the diameter of this circular track is 200 meter. So an athlete goes around one full track in 40 seconds. So the athlete one full round we call one lap in 40 seconds. So what is the distance for one full round because uh, when the person moves around once he will come back to the starting point if they ask distance and displacement it will be like the distance is the circumference of the circle it is a length of the path traveled we know that distance is length of the path traveled total length of the path whereas displacement displacement is the shortest distance from the initial to the final point from the initial point to the final point to the final point see he completes one full round in 40 seconds what is the distance for one complete round one complete round means circumference so one full round circumference so circumference of this circle circular path circumference of the circular path equal to 2 pi r so they say that diameter is 200 meters radius is 100 meter half of the diameter is radius 2 into 22 by 7 into radius is 100 meters so when you cancel this out so this is not getting cancelled equally so what we do we'll keep it that way 2 into 22 44 44 into 100 4400 or 4400 by 7 meter if he makes one full round the distance traveled is 4400 by 7 meter and the displacement is he comes back to the same position for every full round he is coming back to the same position so displacement is zero okay so what is the total distance and displacement in two minute 20 seconds so distance in two minute distance and displacement in 2 minute 20 second 2 minute 20 second 2 minute means 2 into 60 seconds 120 plus 20 seconds so if you look at it totally 140 seconds in 140 seconds how many full rounds are there so total time by time for one complete round you will get number of rounds so number of rounds will be number of rounds equal to 140 by 140 second divided by 40 second per round so you will get 3.3.5 round 3.5 round means he will start from here suppose he is starting from here he will move around once and then twice and then thrice and then coming back to this point so final his initial position is here final position is here after three and a half round each round he covers a distance equal to circumference so three and a half round means for each round this much distance then for three and a half rounds total distance total distance traveled total distance traveled is equal to 3.5 times 4400 by 7 meter so this 3.5 cancels this twice so that is 2200 meter so the total distance traveled is 2200 meter in other words 44,000 4400 by 7 4400 by 7 4400 by 7 and then half of 4400 by 7 that is 2200 by 7 if you add three and a half time means you can do it that way only 4400 by 7 three times plus half times 4400 by 7 if you calculate this also you will get 2200 and the displacement he was here initially after three and a half rounds he is here so the shortest distance from the initial point to the final point is this distance so this distance is equal to diameter so the displacement is displacement is 200 meter displacement is equal to diameter so if 
he made three hundred three full rounds, three full rounds. Then three times four four thousand four hundred by seven is the distance, and the displacement is zero because after three rounds he is coming back to the same point. So the displacement will be zero.